On May 14, 2018, the U.S. Embassy in Israel will be moved from Tel Aviv to the heart of Jerusalem. Many members of the U.S. Congress and Trump's administration are traveling across the world to celebrate this reckless and historical act. This move violates international law. 128 countries in the UN voted against the move with the belief that it will radically reverse decades of US policy in the region and further hinder attempts to establish peace and equality on the land. Billions of people around our world really care about what happens in Jerusalem. As a holy city to three major world religions, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity have ancient history and tradition based within the walls of this city. With 48.3 square miles of land, Jerusalem is home to 800,000 people. The city is formally divided into East and West Jerusalem. While being ruled by Israeli law, the Palestinian residents of East Jerusalem are denied citizenship and national voting rights. They live under the constant threat of home demolitions and foreclosures, which are just some of the tactics used by Israeli settlers to take over Palestinian neighborhoods. Today, over 208,000 Israeli settlers live within East Jerusalem. The embassy further takes away the Palestinian right to the city. Trump says that he is moving the U.S. Embassy on behalf of the Jewish people and their safety. This claim supports Netanyahu's administration, the militaristic control of the region, and endless occupation for Palestinians. Any embassy that moves to Jerusalem endorses and entrenches the status quo. However, we know that the safety of Jewish people is deeply intertwined with the safety of all people. This blatant violation of international law will heighten tensions and violence and move us all further away from a peace process. 80% of American Jews know this to be true and oppose this embassy move. We, as young American Jews, refuse to be political cover for Trump's extreme right-wing agenda. We are standing for freedom and dignity for all and against Trump's embassy of occupation. Meet us in Washington, D.C. on May 14th for an act of moral civil disobedience for the opening ceremony of our Embassy of Freedom.